Hey guys, welcome back to my Animal Adventures YouTube channel and in this episode I want to talk to you about the top 20 mind-blowing snake facts that you have probably never heard of before. And if you've been watching my videos you know I keep and breed and have a lot of snakes. As a matter of fact in this room I had over 150 ball pythons in the height of the breeding season. And those snakes are pretty incredible animals and that's what I'm going to talk about in this episode. So here is my albino pied male ball Ball python and his name is Freddy and I know some of you guys you like to hold your snake you like to pick them up and some of you guys even like to talk to your snakes and you know I've seen some of you guys pick up your snakes and you're like hey Freddy how's it going <laughs> do you love me as much as I love you and believe it or not snakes are completely deaf and you talk to your snake and your snake can't hear you at all so if you talk to your snake keep in mind the reason he probably doesn't respond to you is because he is completely deaf. So here is my male bamboo ball python. His name is Bob. And Bob says he doesn't mind if he's deaf because he has a special snake sense that no other animal has. And he actually has little pits all along the sides of his mouth on either side of the mouth. I don't know if you can catch that on the camera there. But those little pits on either side of his mouth actually allow him to have thermal infrared night vision. So when it's completely dark, nobody else can see, this snake can actually see the heat signatures of all animals, allowing him to see in the dark. So here's my big ball python female. She is a lemon blast, a pastel pinstripe, and her name is Sally. And I actually paired her up this year. She's going to hopefully lay some eggs. But believe it or not, uh, snakes can actually lay eggs without a mate. It's called parthenogenesis. And what actually happens is they, with, without a male, if you have a female snake, it can actually lay eggs. Those eggs can actually be self-fertilized. So the female can actually lay fertile eggs without the male. Those eggs hatch and they're all exact clones of the snake. So for example, if you had a ball python with like five or six genes, Say, for example, a female with five genes and it laid eggs, parthenogenesis, all the babies would be exactly like the mom. They would all have five genes, would be the same morph as the female. So here's my pied female. Her name is Jessica and she has been a really picky eater. As a matter of fact, she's probably only eaten one rodent over the last six months. And you probably didn't know it, amazing snake fact number four, snakes can actually go up to two years without eating a single meal. It's pretty incredible. So here is my clown female ball python. Her name is Hannah. And if you could actually open up her mouth and look inside, there would be no fangs because ball pythons are not venomous. And none of my snakes are venomous. <laughs> I don't really deal with the venom and that's kind of kind of the scary part of the hobby to me. I definitely don't want to risk my life working with snakes. But if you did have venomous snakes, here's an amazing snake fact that venomous snakes actually shed their fangs every six to ten weeks. So for your mind-blowing snake fact number six, I want to show you Bobby, who is my coral glow ball python, a really cool snake. You know I have a lot of snakes down here in my snake room. There's actually an island off the coast of Brazil that has more snakes than any place on the planet. It has up to six snakes every square meter on the entire island. Most of the snakes are poisonous and as a matter of fact they call it the most dangerous place on the planet. The human population on Snake Island is zero. So here's my oldest snake in my entire collection. It's a uh, Arizona Mountain King snake. His name is Methuselah <laughs> and the reason I call him that is because he has lived way past his life expectancy. They typically live about 10 years for these Arizona Mountain King snakes and he's probably 12 to 13 years old. He's a really old snake and he looks really similar to the, the coral snake which is a, a venomous snake. This one luckily is not venomous and speaking of venomous snakes the most venomous snake on the entire planet is the inland taipan and the inland taipan one bite from the taipan actually has enough venom to kill a hundred adults. So here is my lesser clown ball python. Her name is Betty. A beautiful name for a beautiful snake. And as a matter of fact, all my snakes crawl on the ground. 
But amazing snake fact number eight, there's actually a flying snake from Southeast Asia that can actually fly 100 meters, almost an entire football field. All right, so here's one of my favorite ball pythons. His name is Ralph. He's a pastel bamboo calico. He is a stunner. And let me tell you, if you tried to feed him anything besides rats and mice, he wouldn't take it. There are no snakes that are vegetarians. There's only one thing on the menu. They're all carnivores. Amazing snake fact number 10. So here's a snake that has more of a nickname than a name. This is Little Snapper. <laughs> and let me tell you, he's not small. He's pretty big. And the reason I call him that is because this snake grabbed onto me and he would not let go. He wrapped around my arm and it was the worst snake bite I have ever taken. This is a spider pied ball python. And amazing fact number 11, snakes have up to 200 teeth. And if you ever looked inside of the mouth of a snake, you really can't see the teeth. They're all hidden in the gums. But if you actually looked at the skull, I've seen them like at the reptile shows, the skull of a snake. It's amazing how many teeth they have and how much damage they can do. Amazing fact number 11. So here is one of my biggest ball pythons I have in my collection. She is really big. Her name is Norma because it's short for Norma. <laughs> and you think this is big? Actually, if you look back in the fossil record, amazing fact number 12, there was actually a snake called Titanoboa. It was 40 feet long and it weighed as much as 2,500 pounds, lived in the rainforest of Colombia. Here's my pastel desert ghost male. His name is Mikey. He's one of the most striking and impressive snakes that I actually own. And speaking of teeth on the snakes, remember I said most snakes have up to 200 teeth? Well, there's actually some snakes that have no teeth at all, and that would be the African egg-eating snake. And they make pretty good pets, and most people feed them a diet of quail eggs. So take a look at Billy. He is my bamboo pinstripe ball python. He's a stunner. And when I pair him up next year, I'll actually pair one male and one female together. But amazing fact number 14, if you actually watch anacondas breed in the wild, one female will ball up together with as many as 12 males in this big mating ball, and they'll stay balled up for up to a month. So here's mind-blowing fact number 15, the total number of people that actually get bit and die from venomous snakes in the United States is only about six people a year. So mind-blowing fact number 16, the fear of snakes is the number one fear in the world. As a matter of fact, one out of three people are afraid of snakes. Coming up at number 17, snakes have no eyelids. As a matter of fact, when I come up to a snake, I can't tell if it's sleeping or if it's looking at me. When they sleep, they have their eyes open, they can't blink, they can't close their eyes. Snakes have no eyelids at all. Okay, so coming in at number 18, all snakes actually swallow their food whole. There's not a snake out there that will actually chew their food. They all swallow it whole. Coming in at number 19, the most dangerous snakes on the planet are found in one continent, and that continent is Australia. So mind-blowing fact number 20, the biggest venomous snake on the planet is actually the king cobra. Okay, so that wraps up my top 20 mind-blowing snake facts, and hopefully you learned something and you got to get to know some of my snakes. As a matter of fact, I wanna show you at the very end of this video, I'm pairing up my reticulated pythons. Uh, the female's name is Lucy and the male is Sunny, hoping to get some reticulated python hatchlings for the first time ever this fall. Hopefully they'll actually breed and hopefully Lucy will lay some eggs. And I'm gonna show you them real quick. They're actually in my basement on the pool table in a really big enclosure. Let's go check out those snakes. So here are my reticulated pythons that I'm trying to breed this year. This beautiful girl on the front. She is, her name's Sunny. She weighs about 60 pounds and if she actually lays eggs, I'm thinking I might get up to 40 eggs. It's pretty incredible and then they've really been just kind of piling it on top of each other, just kind of hanging out under this, they have a radiant heat panel up top. I'm, I've been kind of varying the temperature between 82 and 78 degrees depending on, you know, if they go under the panel or if they try to get out of the enclosure and it's been working really well and I'm really excited to so hopefully get some baby reticulated pythons this year for the very first time. I tried to pair them up last year and they didn't go. And I do have one more 
amazing snake fact for you that I'll throw in at the end, and that is I actually lost a snake in the house, and I never found it, <laughs> and for some reason, the neighbors never want to come over for dinner. <laughs> it's pretty crazy.